are the balloons at the top of the Tacoma Dome. Stars officials rolled in extra seats, hung balloons from the ceiling, and cooled the bubbling. They had toyed with the boys from Dallas, and now they could taste the win. Gary Hill opened the scoring with one second left in the first quarter. And it looks like the Stars are going to be very happy to just lead, uh, leave this first quarter tied. Long ball. Doc Lawson tied the game eight and a half minutes later. And it's a goal right there. Bingo. It took Doc Lawson only 13 seconds and a winger from the wing to tie it. The stars were swarming when the whistle blew after a Sobieski save. It stays out. There's a handball call. We're going to have a penalty kick for the stars. They're going to call handball down. What actually happened was Chris had made the save and I was turning to my right and the ball glanced off my hand and it's in a, in a final game, game seven, there's no way that's a penalty. I mean, in any game it's not a penalty, it's an unintentional handball. There's no intent at all to uh, keep the ball away from the goal or anything. It was just knocked into my hand. And then another heel score gave Tacoma a 3-1 lead. No one would have faulted Dallas for giving up. The moment we realize, you know, the people, you know, count on us out already, that's the moment this franchise come up and, and, and doing great things. We did when we fold. We did against Baltimore. We did against Cleveland. You know, every every time we we, we tell the people they run. Okay, and I think that moment in the last quarter when the announcer starts saying, please. Stay in your seat because we, to, to present the trophy and things like that, you know, it looked like, okay, Tacoma already won. 4.47 to go. Let's show you the sights and sounds of the Tacoma Dome. Willie Milano asked me, you know, to to tell Garden to, to call timeout when the four minutes and third second to change the goalkeeper. And I said, well, I don't know, you know, the goalkeeper is no, you know, six attack and never working during the regular season. Why are we going to try, you know, in more time, it might be a lot of goals against us. So, you know, let's keep this game very, you know, close the way it is. At least it's res respectable, we'll lose three to one. I just felt that it wasn't the right time. I wanted one more goal back first. Give us a chance to get one with a, with a normal situation. Don't leave that goal open, because if we give up another goal, it's over there. Anything, you know, their score had to stay to three. I mean, we had a big enough task as it was. We're gonna try and get it back to Sobieski to get on the sixth attack. And there it is. 3.05, Mike, you missed it by five seconds. You call the timeout at three. Well, it's up. The mistake there was that Sobieski's picked the ball up. And that's an illegal play because the ball was carried back over the red line by the sidekicks. When that happens, when you carry the ball back over your own red line, the goalkeeper must play it with his feet, not with his hands. Our most experienced player, in the moment of pressure, instead of just putting his foot on the ball, time out, he picked the ball up. And the ball had come back over the red line, so now it was a foul, it was a... a, a free kick to them. Let's see how much time it costs them. Or, heavens, a goal it costs them. Jungle. Left wing! It's right through the legs of Sobieski on the rebound. Milano now must get it out to get it back in, basically. That's what they're trying to do, but look at the pressure the Stars are putting on. Everybody's signaling time out. Now they can do it, yes, as long as he doesn't pick it up. And it cost the sidekick 16 precious seconds. Well, see, I was frustrated, really. No one of the guys told me, hey, Chris, don't give up, we're going to tie the game. And I, and I said, are you kidding? And maybe even Billy Phillips told me, our second goalkeeper. Uh, I didn't believe, because we tried so many times with extra attacker, and we couldn't score a goal. When I pulled the goalkeeper, 
My first thought, I, I, I almost started rehearsing my loser speech, um, thinking what I'm going to say to the press, uh, what I'm going to say to Alan Hinton, uh, what I'm going to say more importantly to our team. The moment I was walking, you know, one thing happened, you know, I was, I was walking to the bench and I really don't pray to win games. Okay, I'm, I, I think that's a bad thing. You can ask God to help you to win games. I always pray to not to get injury, you know, and the best team win the game. So uh, I was walking and I was talking to myself and I, said, you know, I looked at the ceiling and said, God, I guess you don't want us to win this one, but I guarantee you have a better thing for us in the future, you know, because so, three minutes. We didn't really change anything other than uh, pull our goalie. We just kept on doing the things we had done for 55 minutes and eventually the luck turned our way. This has not had a lot of success with the sixth attacker, but too late for that now. You've got to throw caution to the winds. Might as well lose 10 1 as 3 1 in a final game. That's right. That is the goalie. McLeod left footer. Locked down Papaleo. Out it comes. Papaleo with a good, confident play there. That is literally the Dallas goalie. Smith, it's in. It's in. Carpet, 225 to go. There's life in the body of the sidekicks yet. Everybody in our team start jumping up and down and say, come on, we can tie this game. Come on, it's our chance now. That got us what we needed, the very quick goal. Uh, the problem now was to get the ball back, and they made a terrible mistake. Back to Papale, almost played with his feet, and does. And a break for Dallas as Jungle heads the ball over the sideboard. 2.16 to go. 2.16 remaining. The anxious stars hang over their sideboards. Are they 216 away from a title or 216 away from overtime? Smith runs on, winds up. No, he goes to the left foot. Milano will not fire. Smith goes to the right foot. In the corner, lost it in front. It's smothered by the defense tattoo. It's in. No, it's in. It's, it's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. Kevin Smith got the ball, played a very early ball up into the corner to Doc Lawson. Doc played it across, and Mark Carpin's there again. And in the uh, little battle for the ball uh, with a defender and the goalkeeper, it comes out just sufficiently away from those three to the lurking tattoo. I didn't have any doubt in our mind. In my mind, that moment, we were going to lose the championship because, you know, God was not going to allow us to go back. You know, three to one down, three minutes to go, pull the goalkeeper, never, ever works, and works in that moment, and, you know, three, three was no way. We got the momentum, and by that moment, you know, every player in our, our bench, even the reserve guys, the guys who was involved in the game, was just going crazy. We came over to the bench and said, hey, listen, let's, let's settle down here. We haven't won it, we've only tied it. And uh, for us, the biggest stepping stone in, in the remainder of the game was just to get from that last minute and a half to overtime because, you know, once the overtime came, we had that three-minute timeout to regroup and think about what we were going to do next. Brecky picks it up. Lawson's got a marking. The ball off Lawson's chest. Less than 40 seconds. It's in front. Jungle. No! Redwatsky gets it. Is a breakaway possible? Redwatsky goes around Waters. Yes, it is. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Redwatsky tries to play that all of the board. He didn't, yeah, he didn't put enough meat on it. Didn't have enough on it to get it there. Black read it beautifully. 20 seconds to go. Let's let you simply watch the last 20 seconds of regulation. arena already was quiet you know you drop anything in the middle of the field and you can hear because everybody was like what's going on you know in three minutes the game is tied we're not the champion anymore and the Tacoma players they have the same feelings they say wow you know I can't believe this you know it's like everybody has this the mouth open and and, and the eyes really like you know a light and, and you know they couldn't believe two minutes and 40 
he said 48 seconds ago, Dallas was down two goals, taking a timeout to set up the sixth attacker. And then, bang, bang. We were the only people standing from then on out. Their fans never stood because they were so down. And during the, during the, uh, the entire overtime, uh, we couldn't see anything. We, we never saw, it, it was very hard to see at the other end of the goal since we were down so close. We, we had originally sat higher up, but after we got abused for a few minutes before the game, we figured that that's enough. We want to be able to get out of here, whether we win or lose, without getting killed. Uh, but it was fantastic. It was, it was incredible just to look around and see 22,000 people just put their heads down, and the only people that cheered in the whole building were the 20 of us or the 30 of us and our players who just rose from the bench. It's our game. We sensed it. They were deflated. The audience were. Um, we were on the, on the on the high. You could sense it was going to be our goal. There was an air of confidence. Hey, we've come back from the dead. We're there. Here comes the run. Makes it. No, no. Radwanski digs it out again. He gets. He leaps the sideboards. He didn't go through the door. Radwanski ran to the bench and leaped the sideboards. That's That's a with a quick shot. Misses the far post by inches again. Radwanski's hustling to get off, got tattoo on, and almost got the goal that won the championship. The shot! <laughs> Took shot. Midfield knocked away, and Megson has to cover up. Papaleo's made two brilliant saves, and Tattoo's just missed a corner. Look out! Sobieski has to come out. That's going to be three line. No. Tattoo no. saves it. Great play. Tattoo to keep it in play or it would have been back at the Dallas end for a setup. Seven minutes remaining in this first sudden death overtime. Three against two. All alone. Great. Dallas got caught in a switch. And Sobieski with a diving save. Here comes the counterattack. There's a wing over here. It's diving off the bench at the ball. is blasting game. And great substitution there by the Stars. Oh, my officials want a timeout here. Papaleo, who's been brilliant in the game, heads for the bench. I was worried because I don't like the moment you have enough chance to win the game and you don't do it because normally you pay. Keith uh, quickly said to me, he said, you know, um, let's, let's put Tattoo with Mark Carvin because they weren't on the same line. And we took Willie, I think it was, off of that line. Well, I'm not certain now, but we put Tattoo and Carvin together and we, um, they went to, together as a pair. And I'll say, come on, you know, our chances now and we have to put in. Psychics make a change as well, though, so Carpenter slows it down. Well, they've got all the guns out there now for Dallas. Lawson, Milano, Tattoo, and Carpenter. You can't put more offense on the floor for Dallas. Tattoo had the ball out on the right boards, and he had two guys on him, not one. And, uh, you know, as tired as everyone was, I knew that he was going to beat his man and get a shot off. Milano across the red line to Tattoo, right side. Double team by Nation. Tattoo comes away with a shot! The first thing I want to do is just look up and thank God because that was a miracle. Tattoo tries to go around. Makes it! Gets the shot off! It's in! It's in! It was just like highway robbery what we did and uh, it couldn't have been any more dramatic. The Dallas sidekicks! It's in! I was in a state of shock. Just numb. I just couldn't get over it. The Dallas sidekicks have won. Down two goals with 248 remaining in the fourth period. Everything was set up for Tacoma to be the champion. You know, and, and us to win, it, I think, it took a while to, to really realize. This incredible story has finally come to an end, and they will live happily ever after. Incredibly, the sidekicks have won the championship. Truth. I just can't believe it. I'm so... It's incredible. He was dead, and yet again we fought back. They can't count us out anymore. You know, we've we've been down to the lowest, and right now we're sitting on the highest possible point, and that's what makes it so satisfactory. And we're just glad that we can represent the city of Dallas in such a first-class way. <laughs>